Well, hello. There was an update today, and there are a couple things worth mentioning in this week's patch, so we'll just get right into it. I would have had this video out this morning, except the patch notes didn't come out until after 1am my time, and that just wasn't happening, so here we are. But better late than never, I guess. Anyways, first things first for the update today. This one's rather unfortunate. The fireworks show is not going to happen anymore in the Enclave now that the Celebration of Lyra event is over. Why is that unfortunate? Well, uh, I really like fireworks, so it was kind of nice. Now, in Sharandar, the heroic encounters in the Dark Fey Mire will actually show their timers on the map so you can see how much time is left if it's worth it for you to go over there. It kind of sucks when... You see a heroic encounter on the map, you go to it, and by the time you get there, it's over or expired. In the Svardborg trial, you can now use reroll tokens in both chests. As far as I'm aware, there are three chests in there, right? But the patch notes say both chests. I'm assuming it means all of them. But I never used the chests in there anyway, so I never even knew that it was broken to begin with. In the Vault of Stars, less quicklings will spawn at a time, and they spawn at a slower rate, so that should help those of you who have been having performance issues in there. The Summer Festival that's coming up in a week or so had a couple of changes to the consumables, one of them being the Grand Summer Feast. It was overlooked whenever they did the changes to the consumables a few weeks ago, I think that was a few weeks ago. So it now gives 2.5% power and 1.5% accuracy instead of 5%. And just like the watermelon sorbet, it's not going to affect the feast that you have in your inventory and bank, only the new sources of those things. But there's also now a crafting recipe for the new version of the summer feast and the old version which doesn't make much sense to me if they were trying to change the consumables to be the new format, but then they still allow the crafting of the old version. So that's a little bit confusing, although I suppose the all the other stuff gave 10% and it was moved to 5%, so something that was 5% originally is really that not that big of an issue. So, you know, I don't know. Teramac's been using all these big words in the patch notes lately that I don't know the exact definition of. So hold on, I have to go do some research. Anyway, the Repentant Cultist Companion now gives up to 7.5% magnitude damage at mythic quality. The Ring of Air and the Ring of Darkness are now going to be closer in their effectiveness instead of one doing a lot more than the other one, because that doesn't really make much sense. For those of you who are still hunting around in Avernus, the hunts there now actually drop Zariel's favor again like they're supposed to. And in the Vault of Stars, you can now get the plus five variant of the shirts and pants from the Twisted Denizens version, hardcore version of the dungeon. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the patch for this week. Hopefully you found this video informative or helpful or something. Thank you for watching or listening or whatever. I hope you all are having a fantastic day and July so far. July is half over already. Isn't that crazy? It still feels like June to me. Anyways, I'm going to leave now. Have fun. Try not to melt. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye.